recording? Mm -hmm. That asshole next door is doing construction at 6.30 at night. You? Hello. Uh, I haven't done a board setup video in a while. It's 2023. New year, new me. I've got a new board here. It's a hockey board. It's an 838. I was skating an 875 hockey board, which was supposed to be my curve board, but then I just decided to skate it because I needed a new setup. So yeah, I wanted to drop down a couple sizes just to be able to do more flip tricks because I feel like I don't flip my board enough and I really miss it. So yeah, I bought this stuff from Overcast Skate Shop here in Temecula. Shouts out to Woody. My girlfriend got me these trucks for my birthday. The Ace AF1. The Ace AF1s. I don't know if these are the standard. I'm pretty sure they're the standard ones. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I got some um, Spitfire Formula 4. Are these 50? Yeah, there's a conical full 54s. That was a mouthful to say. These are my go-to wheels because 54 is a good size for street and park. And I like the conical shape because it just feels like there's more grip. I got some Ace AF1 hardware. Never had Ace hardware before. So really keen to try these out. They have little like knurls underneath the head of the bolt that sticks into your grip tape. So when you turn it, the grip doesn't turn or something. I don't know. That's the new technology. And these are hollow. So these are being drilled in the center to shave a little bit of weight off. And uh, yeah, I got some... Bronson G3s, the Gravette, Gravette, David Gravette, Gravette. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but yeah. Um, I think I had the G2s last time, so spent a little bit more money, got the G3s. And then of course I have the mob grip because everybody knows that I suck at gripping boards and this is perforated, so it has all the holes, so it makes it easier to grip. Usually I like to um, leave the nose, ex that's a nose, leave the nose exposed a little bit for my thumb and I put it off to the side too. I've been doing it for ages, but I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Maybe I'll just do a normal one. What do you reckon? Mm. I don't know, I kind of like that though. Yeah, it's okay. trendy. I like it. But it was trendy like three years ago. Well, I like the color of the board. So. No, I do like seeing the top veneer. Grip this board so barbarically, like a caveman. These are different to the other full conicals I've gotten before because if you get a good close up at that, the top of the wheel is smooth. Usually there's like tread. Now it's like completely smooth. Like I can run my thumb over it and there's no grip. I don't know if these are like a quality control issue. Like they let these slide through or they, def or they generally just make Spitfires like this now, but there's no tread. So these are going to be interesting to skate. Okay, good. Usually when I get a new set of trucks, I always take a Sharpie and then write F under the front truck because then when I get a new board, I know which one's the front and which one's the back because obviously your bushings break in differently for your front and back truck. So yeah, I'm going to mark this so I know this is the front. Put a little, you know, just a, just a nice little F here like that. No one's got to know about it, just you. Just so you know that it's there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's going to signify that this is the front truck and I'll know for next time. Okay. I really like how Ace give you these little red um, bolts to re-thread your trucks. 
because um, anyone knows that these threads get a bit ruined from skating, like your board hits the ground and then they get all bent and out of shape, so it's hard to get a nut back on. So they give you these little re-threaded things, which is really cool, because, yeah, I can't remember how many pairs of trucks I had to throw out as a kid because the thread was ruined. So that's awesome. <laughs> Usually they have a bearing press at the skate shop. This is much easier to do. How does that work? Put it in and then you go, it's like a can crusher, mm. but it pushes the bearing. It seats the bearing in the wheel correctly. Bucketing down rain in Southern California. So yeah, I think it's supposed to be sunny next week um, Yeah, really stoked on this setup. I think it looks really sick. It looks really clean It looks like a board I would have picked out of like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 when I was a kid um, Obviously hockey wasn't around back then, but yeah, you get what I mean. These hoodies are 20% off over at eveningmob.com So go and pick one up while sales last while stocks last whatever it's on sale 20 percent off go and grab one this is some new t-shirts um if you keep watching the video i'm going to throw in some clips of me skating with dale at the pike at long beach after all this footage those are the new t-shirts i hand screen printed them to myself i drew them myself and yeah plus there's going to be new hats soon too so stay on the lookout for those i think they'll be done by like next week so yeah make sure you follow evening mob on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram at anarchism it's in the description below cheers for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of skating that i got to do yesterday while the sun was out and it wasn't raining so yeah <laughs>